We're at BTEC Engineering in Bracknell. Now, we see some cracking engineers and engineering components, things like that, but all I can say is, wow, the parts you have here are absolutely fantastic. But first of all, Mark, can you give me an overview of the company, please? Yeah, uh, we're a family business. We've been going uh, since 2003. Um, we do mainly aircraft components, but we do anything, really. Um, we've got uh, three horizontal machining centres for, for production runs. And we've got uh, we've just purchased two five-axis DMGs, which are really something. And yeah, mainly aerospace, but their work's getting more and more complicated. We use Mastercam to program on. Now that's great, Mark. I can say the components I recognise from my first-class travel on airplanes, but yeah, um, yeah, we do um, a lot of first-class uh, stuff and business-class um, bits, parts that sometimes you don't see, but. Um, our tables, slide out tables, um, video arms, etc., for their bulkhead seats. I think that's an opportune time. Let's go and have a look at some of the machines then, shall we? Yes, okay. So, Mark, first section of the machine shop, you've got three DMG, well, you call them workhorses. So, can you just give me a quick overview of, of the machines? Yeah, they're um, DMG Morisiki NH5000s. We have um, 60 tools, we have um, chick vice on one pallet. On the other pallet, we have a tombstone, so the machine is always working. Um, so twin pallet, but really powerful machines as well, so they can do a lot of material removal, some difficult materials as well. Yes, um, this is a component that we've been doing on here. Um, as you can see, it's a large component made out of a solid billet, um, a lot of 3D scanning and uh, etc. in the back, and we do that in two operations. I mean, impressive part, aluminium, but look, just all the detail on that is absolutely fantastic. Yes, um, and the finishes you get off of these machines is top quality, yeah. Mark, next part of the machine shop, you've got the DMU 60 EVO linear. I mean, the machine speaks for itself. Yeah, we're, we're really pleased with it. Um, it's enabled us to do components in one-offs rather than setting up a load of fixtures. Um, it saves time. We've got component like this one for example that was made in one operation now we won't be able to do that on, on the other machines cost effectively so um, we just tab that and broke that off and, and, and that's the you make it sound simple so what about next part uh, this again this one done in one one uh, operation again break it off um, it's a complex part no no square surfaces everything 3d mill and then um, this one, I'm thinking four or five ops. No, no, we've done this in two operations um, out of a square aluminium billet. Um, yeah, very complex part. So you're really showing off here, Mark. So great, great components. Now, but I'm thinking, looking at these, you know, shotgun, automotive, aerospace, but call me Einstein, a guitar? Yes, um, we've, we've got involved with some uh, guy called Drewman who's designed an aluminium guitar. There's two types that we do for him. Um, this one um, being machined uh, with a starburst effect with the lines all going out from the middle which meant we had to tilt the machine on uh, one edge so we didn't get a rough finish um, and this is the end end result of um, the, the second uh, time. Impressive stuff Mark, are you going to play anything for us? No, I can't play. <laughs> <laughs> OK, so that's a good showcase of your milling capabilities. I think what's next is a bit of turning. Yes, OK, we'll go over there. So, Mark, this is your turning cell, so talk us through this, the CMZ. Um, yes, the CMZ has got um, a bar feed with a sub-spindle driven tools and a y full Y-axis, so um, it can produce complex parts in one operation really although it's passing it over um, and, and spits it out in the tray here but um, it's, it's, it's brilliant for production runs. Really impressive machine I suppose what I'm going to do now is get you to show off again let's have a look at some of the parts you did make on here. So the job that it's running on at the moment is this one which is out of aluminium bronze we do this in two operations, this one. Um, this, this is um, a, a complex part, because there's aluminium bronze, it's quite tough on the uh, cutters, but um, yeah. And it's it also really, really thin by the look of it. Yeah, it goes really thin, so it becomes a bit flimsy. Um, 
Other parts that we've done on here is, is parts like this, comes off complete again, runs through the bar feeder, um, and it's, it's predominantly milling on here, but um, it's all done in one operation, so it's, it's less uh, margin for error there. So again, impressive stuff. Let's, if I could just have a quick look at that again, sorry, because you've got obviously milling, milling here, turn, but then yeah. drilled and tapped in. Yeah, it passes it over to the sub spindle and then comes in and puts them, all them in. And because it's timed as well, so it's, it's um, very accurate. Yeah. And then what, one, one, one more for you to show off with? Um, yeah, this one. Um, again, that's quite a complex part in um, S154 stainless and yeah milled comes off complete impressive stuff now you, you've made some absolutely fantastic components but your aerospace accredited uh, 9100 9100 c at the moment going to rev d yes uh, rev d we've had our audit they're just coming back to sort the last little bit out and uh, we should have that by april okay. and i think that well that does tie in with the sort of next two stages of the processes which is inspection and assembly so a quick look at the assembly and the protection rooms yes So Mark, the inspection facility, you've got your shadow graphs, your manual machines, but this is the new toy? Yes, um, we've had it about six months now, um, and it's C uh, CMM, CNC CMM. So Easy for you to say. Yeah, <laughs> it's hard. Um, but it's cut down our co um, inspection times immensely. We write the programs now, and you know it goes off bleeping uh, over the job, and... Um, it's all very well having the fast bits of kit out in the machine shop and then it gets held up in inspection so that's no good so um, that's why we've invested in this impressive machine i see it's got the engineers essential there the uh, plasticine as well yes you need something to keep it still yeah absolutely right cracking machine but i think let's look at the final part of the machine shop the assembly so mark absolutely fantastic machine shop and the components themselves well, they speak for themselves but this Final part of this, the, the whole package assembly. Yes, um, up here we do the um, inserting of helicoils, part marking of parts, assembly of tables like like this for a business class table. So I recognise this from my last bit of air, air travel. So, <laughs> yeah, this is a business class seat, so you were lucky then. <laughs> yeah. I didn't, yeah, I snuck in there, don't worry. <laughs> so, yeah, th this is in the pod and it slides out to the, the passenger, um, but we um, buy the plastics in, but every th every um, bit of metal work we make here. So um, yeah, impressive stuff. And then also, I recognise some some lights here from my front room. Yes, um, this is another component that we uh, manufacture, so it goes straight to line, um, uh, straight to the production line. So metal and plastic, though. Yes. Um, uh, these are both aluminium. Then they're bead blasted, bright anodised. Um, and then we obviously have a, a lamp, which is clear plastic. When we get it, we machine it, and then it goes out for painting. Uh, all I can say is fantastic machine shop, fantastic components. BTEC Engineering down in Bracknell, thank you very much. Yeah, thank you.